your back was live on three and just before the break you saw a riveting performance by Napo Marciani, renowned poet and writer. Welcome to our show today, lady. Thank you look you. gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. It's an so, honor to be here. <laughs> I can imagine, mm -hmm. like, you know, we're, we're celebrating Madiba the Euro today, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, what are your pictures in your mind about the heroic things that he had done that brought you to be able to write a poem like that celebrating his life? I think when you, you know, look at Madiba's face, um, when you follow his uh, life, his journey, is you have no choice but to get inspired. As a young South African, I mean, we are part of transformation. We are the young people who lived through apartheid, but also saw the change in South Africa. And to be part of that, it's almost like really stepping on giant shoes. Mm -hmm. And you have no choice but to feel honored, to feel challenged, uh, feel inspired um, and moved. You talk about carrying on the legacy of Madiba. Mm -hmm. How, what advice would you give to young people in terms of how to live their lives, to carry on this legacy? I think the principles that he had, to die for what you believe, um, to um, also know that you know many of us are called, but few are chosen. And sometimes when you have gifts, uh, you know it's something that you didn't choose, you were born with that. And that um, no matter how challenging life can be, or your journey can be, especially me as a black woman in the arts, no matter how hard my challenges are, at the level and at the part of it, I need to make sure that I understand that if I'm focused, if I keep fighting for my rights, if I keep on claiming the space and using my voice to create change in the world or even provoke the world by doing it for the rights of women, black women globally. I mean, I don't think that, you know, um, I, I, would, I would be short of what I'm meant to do in this world. Mm -hmm. So I think his legacy, to honor it, it mm -hmm. will be for me to keep on doing what I'm doing to the best of my ability. And how to deal with challenges, Naba? Because life is not easy. It's Majiba not easy. came across many challenges in his life, including imprisonment. Well, how do we deal with the challenges we're facing today? In to our find lives? reasons to stand every day. You know, there's so much that's going on in South Africa, politically, socially, economically, to find reasons to wake up every single day and to be able to sleep peacefully at night, to know that when you sleep, I have made a change. I have changed, I've touched somebody else's life. I have mm -hmm. helped somebody. I have voiced out something that, uh, you know, uh, that could have been uh, silenced in my community, in my space, to talk about issues that I'm passionate about as a black woman. Um, there's so much that's happening, challenging young kids. Kids yeah. have been raped in South yeah. Africa. Women are, are facing boardrooms, in arts, everywhere, and, you know, scientifically everywhere. Women, we have been challenged every day. But if I can wake up every morning and sleep at night knowing that I've touched that one young girl in a community somewhere in Kwa Kwa, in my mm -hmm. if that girl can be able to wake up in the morning and see themselves in us, in me, then I think my journey is, 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 is on the right track. I will also like that, that I reach my, my final day and I'll be remembered for the good deeds that I've done to, you know, to uplift and contribute to humanity. Mm -hmm. You know, we always use the arts as a, as a sort of megaphone yes. to mm -hmm. speak on behalf mm -hmm. of uh, the population. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of young artists coming up who, don't, who haven't lived through the era of Nelson Mandela, who's now gonna hear things second hand. But what can we as artists do, and obviously you in your sphere that have the ability to address a lot of people regularly, how can we keep that legacy verbally alive? Know where you come from, know who you are, know your name, understand who gave you your name, why they gave you your name. African names, I mean, are very, very yeah, metaphorical. Speak your language, speak, your language. Mm -hmm. speak it with pride, stand on world stages, Tell the people who you are, who your people are, and say it with such pride. Tell them about your culture, about your rituals, about your spirituality, how you connect with your ancestors, with the higher being. And above all, which is one thing I love and admire, I'll always use uh, that Man uh, Madiba did, humbleness. Mm. There's nothing as nice mm. as telling the truth mm. and saying things straightforward in the most humble and very, very, very firm way. And I think if all of us as artists, we can create a conscious kind of art that says and celebrates who we are, but also that challenges the presence without forgetting where we come from. And that is uh, what it's all about, African pride. But you've oh, got to yeah. know your African yeah, yeah, history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got to know who you are mm -hmm. in order to be proud of where you're coming from and where you're going. Thank you so much, Napo Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. you. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.